Um, hi. Guys, the day is finally here. It's been so many months and I think I've finally mentally prepared myself. I've gotten to a place in my reading schedule where I'm comfortable, I'm prepared to take on the challenge. <laughs> Da da, da 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 We're doing it. We're starting Akatar. I have never read this series. I'm sorry. Hi, if you're brand new to my channel, my name is Nikki and this is my book nook. I am all over the place. It is literally nine o'clock at night right now. I literally just finished 300 pages of another book I was reading and I, but I'm just like, I need more. Like that book was so good that I'm just like, I need to continue. I'm not ready to stop reading tonight and this has been on my TBR for so long. I bought the entire series so long ago. There is not a single other book, series, anything that is more talked about on Book Talk. I know I'm gonna love this. I don't know why. I've waited so long to read it. It just stresses me out. I think I'm just like, oh my God, is it gonna be overhyped? Is it like, I, I just don't know. I don't know. I've been stressed, but I'm starting it now and I knew that I wanted to do a reading vlog, reading this with you guys, um, just because I wanna give my like, real-time reactions. I don't want to have to like think about everything and give a review afterwards and I just think it'd be fun. I think it'll be a journey and I hope you guys are here to go on it with me. Um, I don't know how much I'll get done tonight but I will check in whenever I have things to say. I'm starting a Court of Thorns and Roses. Oh my god. I'm gonna be in the know. I'm gonna finally get all of the jokes, all the hashtag Akatar. The only thing I know about this series literally I know it's about like fae or fairies, which I haven't read a book in that genre yet either. I know craziness. Um, I know that there, I think a girl gets kidnapped and I know there's someone named Riss, Reese, R-H-Y-S. I see that everywhere. I try to avoid all spoilers. Literally when I see the hashtag, I immediately keep swiping, but yeah, that's literally all I know. So I'm in for a wild ride and I can't wait. Okay, I'll talk to you guys very soon. Okay, it's literally been two seconds. I'm back. Um, This book is so pretty with the cover off. This is like the most unique shade of red. It's like a poppy neon red. Speaking of poppy, nice transition. Um, I always switch out my bookmarks every time I start a new book because I have so many bookmarks. My collection is stupid, but I just got these new ones in the mail. Freaking Hawk and Poppy, if this will focus. Look at this. And then they're like both of the identities. And then Clary and Jace! These literally came from Spain and they took so long to get to me. I had them in my Etsy cart for so long, but they came out so cute and I'm so obsessed with them and they're everything I could ever dream of. I think I'm going to use a Poppy moment. I was just using my Jace, but we're gonna go for Poppy and we are starting this dang book. I'm so excited. Okay, I am on chapter five, page 40, I think. I off to a very good start. I was very nervous to start this book. I have not read anything by Sarah J Maas yet. I know that's crazy because like fantasy is my favorite genre and she is the queen of fantasy. I was very nervous. Like I know she is very much like high fantasy world building, which I love, but like sometimes it could be a bit much for me. So I just figured her writing was gonna be very like intense, like hard to wrap your head around, was gonna make my brain melt a little bit, but so far so good. Like. I've understood everything. Nothing has been too crazy. Um, I know nothing about like the fae, fairy genre. So uh, I wasn't aware that fairies could like turn into animals like wolves and stuff. Apparently that's a thing. I'm learning so much. Um, so yes, she like killed the wolf. Realized but also didn't realize it was a fairy and now this fairy man has shown up to take her, her life for a life. She has to come live with the fairies which I thought it was a kidnapping. This is so much better. Um, I don't know who this is yet. Is this the wrist? Is this the wrist guy? Who knows? I'm sensing an enemies to lovers situation. I think this is gonna get tense. Like the beginning of this so far was good, but I can tell like now I'm like, all right, here we go. I'm ready. I'm excited to see what happens next. Also, her sisters were very annoying, so I feel like we're not gonna see them again, which I'm not mad about, so. I'm excited to keep going. Okay, hello guys. It is um, 12.46 in the morning. <laughs> I have to be in the office tomorrow, so I think I have to call it quits tonight. I am on chapter 13, page 114. 
I'm really enjoying it so far. Like it's been a total page turner. Like I haven't put it down, but um, I don't feel like a ton has happened for me to really talk about. I mean, Pharaoh was taken by this fairy. Um, we find out his name is Tamlin. He's got this golden hair and he brings her to this estate in the fairyland. I'm literally blanking on what it's called. Like pith, pith, pith. Pythion. <laughs> I'm gonna get it wrong. You guys know what it's called. Um, but then in this estate also lives this other fairy with red hair called Lucian. Um, I don't know. She's just kind of chilling there right now. We learn like the guy, the fairies always wear these masks, and we learn that some magic occurred like a while ago at a masquerade ball that now these masks are stuck to their faces. Um, right now, Feyre is just kind of like battling this idea that like she wants to get out, she wants to go back to her family, but Tamlin has told her that her family will be cared for now, like she doesn't need to go back to them. Um, her, but the, if the second she crosses the border, like they will no longer be cared for. So like her going back honestly would do her family more harm than good, but she still is like, yo, I mean, she's literally had to like fight to survive her entire life. And now she's just like stuck in this like fairy world, like in this mansion having nothing to do. And I feel like she doesn't know what to do with herself. Um, Tamlin for some reason has like this weird fascination with her. Um, I'm really confused why he's like so hospitable towards her like why he's willing to just let her live in this house like he's just he's very like kind of cold and rigid but he's very kind to her and is like trying to befriend her but she's like not really interested where lucian is just kind of like a jerk but like he's kind of funny they're kind of like developing a rapport even though he like doesn't care about her um but yeah that's kind of like where we are at this point um she just snuck up on um lucian and tamlin like was eavesdropping on them and they're talking about like something's coming because there's some like monsters in the woods and stuff that tamlin had to go and kill and he's defending them from i'm just like learning things you know um it's very interesting so far but right now at this point i'm not like totally sure what the plot of this whole book is gonna be besides her just like having this stockholm syndrome situation um but so far, I really like it. I, I feel like Sarah J Maas is just like an author that people love to crap on for no reason. Like I said, this is the first book I've read of hers, but so many people say like they only read her books for like the spicy parts and like, I don't know, kind of insinuate that she's not a good author, but I really enjoy her writing. Like I think it's really good. It's really interesting. Like I said, a page turner. I enjoy that it's high fantasy, but I don't feel like it's like going over my head. I don't feel like the wording is like super intense or like difficult to grasp. Um, I mean, she, it's very similar to Jennifer L. Armentrout for me. Like honestly, Jennifer's writing is, well, Jennifer, cause we're on a first name basis, is a little more like, I don't know, intense than hers, I feel. So I'm, I'm happy with it so far. I'm excited to see where it goes. I have a feeling like right where I just left off, it's about to kind of like pick up and we're going to figure some things out. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for tonight. I need to go to bed, but I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay, hello guys. <laughs> it is day two of Akatar. I don't know what happened. It's already nine o'clock at night. I got home from work and I edited some videos and I did the dishes and some other things around the house. And before I knew it, it was nine o'clock at night, which is when I always seem to start reading, which is why I end up staying up so late. So love that for me. It'll be fine. Um, we are like a hundred-ish pages in. I'm excited to keep going. Okay, I am on chapter 18, page 155. Quick update, um, Feyre trapped a cereal, which is the type of fairy that I guess if you trap them, they have to tell you whatever you want them to. So she trapped him so that she could figure out like if there was any way for her to escape. Uh, he pretty much told her no. She ended up getting attacked and Tamlin swooped in and saved her. We love that. And then we found out it's, actually fake news that fairies can't lie they can lie and they made up that lie so that humans would think that they could lie genius um and then i just okay now this fairy showed up and its wings were ripped off which was so gruesome and sad i felt so bad for it um we know that there is this ominous she that is doing horrible things um tamlin and Feyre are definitely getting cozier uh the stockholm syndrome is really setting in um he's gonna get her some paint um oh and we learned that tamlin is the um high lord of the spring court which is like he's the king basically t love that um 
yeah, I mean, things are like heating up, so I'm intrigued. Okay, oh my God, <laughs> page 200, chapter 22. Things finally started heating up a little bit. I was starting to get a little concerned, I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't like bored, but I was also kind of like, mm, like, where's the flavor? Like, I need something here. Um, Fire Night. I, okay, here's my thing. I So I think we just met Reese, right? Someone tell me phonetically in the comments how to say that name. I've heard Reese, I've heard right, like, right, rice, Riss, Riss. Rissend? I don't know. I don't even know if that was him, but I know from like the little snips I've seen that he has like the dark hair and I think like blue eyes. They said Violet in this book. I don't know. I feel like that was him at Fire Night. Maybe I'm clowning. I'm just ready for him. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yes, the scandalous Fire Night ceremony, which I had a feeling that's what it was. Um, I, like, I don't know what it is. I don't know why I'm not like feeling this Tamlin thing. Like, something in me physically can't be attracted to blonde men. I, I don't know why. Um, I know it's literally a book. It just got spicy when he was finally not himself because I was like, he's too nice. Um, he's giving her everything she wants and there's no, I need some flavor, but this spicy, not Tamlin Tamlin was having me intrigued. So we will see. It is now about to be the next morning. I assume they're going to talk about it, but I need more of that action. I need everything that just happened in that chapter. If we could have that times 10, cause I'm getting a little, like a little antsy here. <laughs> Rice sand, rice sand. I still don't know how to say it. it. Has entered the chat. Oh my god! Thank you, Lord. I was. I needed this. I'm here now. I'm here for it. It took 241 pages, and I'm officially here for it. I was correct. That was him. I was okay. I like Tamlin. I just. I, it was too. It was too vanilla. It was too vanilla for me. But now he's here, and he's. He's he's chopping off heads. He's toxic. He's freaking He's threatening her <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. I must read this line to you Draco this is very important please some respect in a flash of motion too fast for me to detect Tamlin was on his feet Fangs dangerously close to Ryson's face None of that Ryson said clicking his tongue and lightly shoving Tamlin away with a single hand not with a lady present his eyes shifted in my face. What's your name, love? Tell me that is not Klaus Michelson. Tell me. If that's not, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Oh my God. Sign me up. I'm a whore for Akatar. Let's go. <laughs> Nothing has even happened yet, but like this introduction of this. I can feel it. I can feel it in my soul. My camera won't even focus because I'm so chaotic right now, but... Yes, I'm on page 240, and I'm a happy camper. Okay, here we are again, nearly one in the morning. Um, I am on chapter 32. I'm going to call it a night, page 274 of 415-ish. I feel like that puts us at a good place. So, okay, after the Ryson thing went down, whenever she he asked what her name was, she said her name was like Claire Bedor, which is a person that she knew, like one of her sister's friends back where she was from. She was just the first name she thought of because she didn't want to give her real name. And then Tamlin was all like, I love you, smoochy smooch, whatever, but like you gotta leave because like it's not safe for you, blah, blah, blah. Sends her home. Her family has been taken care of, like he promised, like she's all, they're all rich and stuff. Um, and her sister actually, like the glamour didn't work on her. She she knew like where um, Favor really was the whole time. And then it turns out the Bedor establishment was like burned to the ground because supposedly Rysand remembered the name and like went after her thinking it was her, but it wasn't her. So now she's like, I gotta go back to Tamlin and she told her family to go into hiding. So they went off and she made up with Nesta and their besties now, whatever. So now she's like gone back to Tamlin's literally in a matter of two seconds. I'm kind of annoyed with the whole like, you must go home and then she goes home for like one chapter and comes back. I'm like, that was a waste of time, but okay. Um, and yeah, now she's come back and the like Tamlin's 
it's not a freaking castle. What do you call it? His house is like all torn up and nobody's in there and he's gone. So she's like, what has happened? So yes, we have like, I literally can't do math. We have like a hundred and 30-ish pages left, so I'm gonna finish tomorrow for sure. I will see you then. All right, guys, it is day three. Let's finish this baby. Oh my God, you guys, I picked the worst possible spot to stop last night. I'm gonna be honest. Um, I was holding back some of my feelings yesterday because I was like, surely, like this is gonna get better. Like, I don't know. I had some beef with this book. I just didn't understand like Tamlin and Pharaoh's relationship to me was so lacking in flavor like I did say, but I just didn't understand. I was like, she literally killed his friend and he never once was mad. He just was like, come live with me and was nice and was like giving her whatever she wanted and was like so kind to her. And I was just like, this doesn't make any sense. It's so boring, like snooze fest, I don't understand. I just learned everything. I learned about Amarantha and the whole like him having to get a human girl to fall in love with him and she just didn't say it and then oh my god and so now knowing because um Rice and Reese and whatever it was Amarantha's whore he is she's the queen of everything and he's T. I love him. I, he's a potster. I love a potster. <laughs> I just this is crazy now she's going to try to save him. Okay, I'm so happy. I was like about to be so disappointed. I was but like this is so overrated I don't understand like everything about their relationship that I hated I mean still if I'm being honest it lacks a little flavor for me But like now I understand Why because I was like they should be more like enemies like what like why did they not hate each other? They should be yelling at each other He should be upset with her and he never was and that like drove me crazy But now I understand so It all makes sense Okay, I have 100 pages left. Amarantha is a freaking ruthless, vile, absolute badass. <laughs> She's horrible, but I can't help but like, I don't want to say love her, but like she, there's no messing with her. Um, Oh my God, bro, the way that she freaking tortured Claire Bedor because Sarah gave her that name and then Rice and oh my god I just now she has to do these tasks or answer this riddle or both it's it looks like she's about to do the first task this is not what I expected it to be and I'm glad because like oh my gosh it's getting so juicy okay she just annihilated the first task with the worm Freaking Rice and Reason. If someone doesn't freaking tell me how to pronounce this name, I'm gonna scream. Um, he was the only one that bet on her to win. <laughs> okay, I need the second book because I just I need this. I need this to develop. I need I need more of him. <laughs> He's my everything right now. I can just sense it. I can feel it coming. I mean, at this point, the updates are getting redundant. I'm a whore for rice, Reese. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, I mean, what? He healed her arm. Now she has this, like, tattoo thing binding them, and she is going to go live with him a week out of every month, and he's been freaking making her come to parties with him and prance around in front of Tamlin, and now she just did the second task, and it made her read, and if she lost... Her and Lucian would have died, and she was about to pick the wrong answer, but Rysan got into her mind and burned her on her tattoo on her arm, which is so hot. <laughs> His power, oh my god, the mind powers. I, Edward Cullen, who, I mean, come on, like, I, I love it. I love it so much, like this, and they're... Their enemies to lovers-ish relationship, that was the spice, that was the flavor I've been needing.
and I feel like a fool for complaining that I wasn't getting it and I was about to be like this book is so overrated I don't understand and here it is and we're getting towards the end there's literally 40 pages left and I have a feeling like the whole next book is gonna be so much of that spice and flavor and I'm like already wanting to be on that so I'm like powering through this let's go oh That ending just made this a five-star book. That last task of her having to kill the three fairies to prove that she, and the third one was Tamlin, but he, she, he couldn't be killed, so she was trying to trick her, but she was too smart for that, and her solving the riddle right before she was about to get killed, and then she got killed anyways, and then she got brought back as a high fae, and now she's with Tamlin, but she still has to spend a week every month with Rice and... I'm unwell. That was so freaking good. I feel like a clown. See, I love filming these videos because honestly, I'm gonna watch this back and I'm gonna watch the beginning. I'm gonna be like, you have no idea what's coming, sister. You're a clown. And it's great. I'm literally, I am, it is 1.30 in the morning and I have to be in the office tomorrow, but first thing when I get back tomorrow, I am starting this bad boy. And I'm going to vlog it as well. Isn't this fun? Oh my god. Thank you guys so much for being on this journey with me. I'm so happy it lived up to the hype. I'm so happy. That was so good. Sarah J. Mass is a genius. I don't know how. I'm mind blown. I'm delirious. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see y'all later. Bye.